Hey guys, welcome back to Bali Piano. So we're basically done covering the main verse and chorus. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on the actual flute instrumental in the beginning. Okay, so let me just demonstrate a couple of bars first and then we'll break it down, then repeat the process. Here we go. Okay, so this particular section is in 4-4, so I'll break it down with a 4-4 count. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and... Okay, I'll just play the last, the last part a bit slower. 1, 2, 3, Four, one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, so without the counts from the beginning, it goes. All right. Moving on, we have the same thing as uh, as the first part. We move up the keyboard. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'll just play that one more time with the counts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, two, three, four. Okay. I'll just now play it once without the cuts. All right. So that's the first half of the instrumental. Uh, let's look at the left hand. Uh, the left hand, we've kept it very simple because there's just a lot, uh, quite a bit going on in the right hand. So we're just starting off with the root note, which is F. So I'll just play it with the right hand playing as well. Here we go. Now, we're going to be playing the flat major in our right hand, sorry, in our left hand. Okay, so B flat, then we're going to move on to playing C major, and then finish off with D minor. Okay, and it's going to be played like this. So unlike the F, which was basically played at the start of every bar, very straightforward, um, the the C, the switch to C major is actually done in between the bar. So when you play A again, that's when you switch to C major. Okay, so one more time. Okay, moving on to the second half of the instrumental. So, I'll just demonstrate first.
Okay. This one's a bit more difficult on the right hand, but we'll just break it down. So we have, we're still in the time signature of 4-4. Four, four. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Once without the counts. And uh, to make things a bit easier, uh, we're just gonna press down on D minor uh, and do nothing else with the with the left hand. So let's just try that together. So we have. Okay. Then in the right hand we have one. Two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. Okay, one more time with the counts. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. All right. Now we're on to the most difficult part. So we have rest two and three, four. One and two, three, four and one. Two, three, and four. Okay, without the counts, it sounds like this. All right, and again, <clears throat> so in the first half, we're pressing down on B flat. So, okay, then we move on to playing C major. Now we move on to the time signature of 6 8, which is gonna be 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3. Okay, and all we're doing is playing F major in our left hand. And then we move on to the lyrics, which I've already covered in part one of my tutorial for Enavelli. Okay, so before wrapping up the lesson, I will just uh, demonstrate the entire instrumental from start to finish. Here we go. Thank you guys for listening and I'll see you guys very soon for my next tutorial.